Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Comment from New York here with another fantastic video all about photography. How is everyone today? Before I forget, please go to this corner and press that red square. That will keep you subscribed to my channel. You can get all 195 plus videos on photography that I already put out and all future videos. Now remember, we're coming up to my 200th episode. There's going to be something special. I highly recommend you tune in and subscribe. There's the red button. Click it. It'll make you subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. There's a button right below. Comment below. Even if you just say, hey, how you doing? And don't forget, you can always email me any question you have about photography. I've been a photographer, a photojournalist for 50 years. I will answer all your questions. Black and white photo at AOL.com. Don't be shy. I get many, many <laughs> emails a week and I answer them all. If I don't know the answer immediately, I talk to my colleagues, I research it, and I will give you an accurate answer. All right. What's on the schedule for today? Well, first, let me introduce the camera that we will be using in today's video photographs, the Canon EOS 30D. Guys, this is a 2006 8 megapixel camera that DP Review gave a highly recommended decision to when they did the review. Uh, just want to get right to that because it's very important. I'm looking at my notes. All right. So in 2006, Phil Askey, the author of the review, did, I think it was over, it was over a 20 page review on the Canon 30D. Phil from DP Review gave it a highly recommended verdict. Now, one of the reasons that I have this camera, I bought it, oh, I don't know, around 2008. The reason I have this is for one simple reason. It's the processor. It's not that it's an APS-C sensor. It's not that it has a 1.6 crop factor. It's not that it's 8.2 megapixels. It's because in 2006, Canon put the Digi, the, let me pronounce it right, the Digic, D-I-G-I-C, Digic 2, Roman numeral 2 processor in this camera along with other cameras that they made, but this one in particular. Now, why is that important? It's important because this was the birth of Canon colors. Now, everybody knows about the Kodak CCD sensor giving you uh, Kodachrome-like uh, photographs, right, on a digital camera. This is something really completely different. This is Canon Color Science in the Digic 2 processor. We're going to look at photographs in seconds about this camera and what it did to uh, last night when I went to a friend's house in Queens for dinner. All right, let's jump into it. Got my notes. So my friend who lives in Queens, uh, when I, my wife and I went over for dinner, it's overwhelming that my friend and his wife and his kids and his grandkids are huge fans of something I really didn't know that much about. The huge fans of a 1993 movie, a stop action movie. Stop action is where you have like a, a figure you take a frame with the movie camera, then you move it slightly, you take another frame. That's stop motion or stop action movie. 
by Tim Burton. You already, most of you already know where this is going. Uh, Tim Burton and Henry Selleck, the director, made a movie, uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. Uh, starring, the starring character is Jack Skellington. Okay. And I must mention the cinema photographer in uh, Nightmare Before Christmas was Pete Kozachik. Okay. He was the uh, cinematographer. All right. So when I went to his house and he had his house decorated for Christmas in the theme of Jack Skeleton. Nightmare Before Christmas. I didn't even know they made Christmas decorations f f with this theme. Okay. So, of course, I had this camera and this lens with me, right? This lens is the Canon EFS autofocus lens. Uh, it's the 18 to 55. Looking at my notes, the F3.5 to 5.6 STM. Okay. So, 30D with this lens. Now, here's what's interesting. This lens is image stabilized. It has its own optical image stabilization built right in. Even though the camera doesn't, the lens has it. Now, that's important because in the video, the, the photographs that I will show throughout this video, here's the settings. You guys love settings. Here we go. Aperture priority. ISO 1600, which is the highest native ISO. It could be pushed to 3200, but the native high is 1600 ISO. On the low end, there's 100, but we're not going to be discussing that today. We're going to be discussing the high ISO. Remember, this is all about bokeh. Uh, Let's keep going on the settings. Uh, Handheld, like I said, aperture priority for so I can get a decent shutter speed, right? Because uh, I'm going to be shooting wide, op wide open. Handheld. Uh, okay. So let me just keep going. All right. So those are the settings. Really very simple. Aperture priority. The aperture wide open, ISO 1600, all handheld, all available light, no flash. Okay. So this, I said to my friend, this is a perfect opportunity. He's also a photographer, that this would be a perfect opportunity to do a video on bokeh. Now, bokeh, right? And it comes derived from a Japanese word. But here's the real definition of bokeh. It's the aesthetic quality of the blur produced in the out of focus parts of a photograph. All right. So remember, it didn't say just the background blur. Bokeh also includes foreground blur. All right, you'll see a few photographs. I will I will cut them in throughout this whole video. All right. Uh, before we get too deep, I just want to mention uh, that the camera uses a CF card. All right, widely available. The huge CF card. Okay, this one happens to be a SanDisk 8 gig card. Okay, goes right in. Remember, your camera should be off whenever you're inserting a card or, or taking it out. All right, it just goes right in there. Okay, take CF card. Now, how much of these? How much of these cameras? Maybe I should wait to tell you at the end after you see the beautiful bouquet photographs but I won't. $115 with this lens. 
Okay. Right now on eBay, there's like 25 of them. Canon 30D in excellent shape with the 18 to 55 lens, which is autofocus, which has image stabilization. Okay. 115 bucks delivered. That's with delivery. Now remember, if you're buying on eBay, you're looking for a seller with 100% credibility rating. eBay calls it feedback. Do not buy anything from anyone that has a credibility or feedback rating of less than 99.2%. Second step before you buy it, make sure they have many feedbacks, not three. You're looking for over 100 and finally, look at the button that says sellers, other items. The other things that they're selling, click on that. If they're selling things like pens and shopping bags and neckties, stay away. That's not someone familiar with cameras. You want to buy it from somebody that all of their other items are cameras, lenses, and photo gear, okay? Because they will be the ones to tell you the truth about the condition of it, if it's working or not, okay? That's who you wanna buy from. Okay, so we've talked about uh, the camera, how much, my settings, okay? But the most important thing why we're here today is to look at bokeh photographs taken in someone's home. All right. Now, listen, this is December. It's the beginning of December. It's only December 3rd. All right. Now, I don't care if you celebrate Christmas or Festivus or you celebrate nothing. That's not the point of this video. The point of this video is in this month, everywhere you go, every shop, every store, every neighborhood will have some kind of of Christmas lights. Go in the evening. You don't have to have them decorated your house or apartment. Half of my friends don't celebrate Christmas and they don't decorate. Okay. Take your camera and go out into the streets. Go to stores. Go to shops. Let me tell you something. You go to a gift store or you go to a Christmas shop that sells decorations they're not going to give a dawn if you take pictures of their lights. Okay. They won't even ask you because the people working there are so busy this time of the year. They're not even going to, you're, you're going to be see-through. Okay. You take your photographs there. Like I did. I took these photographs that you're about to see at my friend's house. I went there for dinner. All right. And all I did was Oh, by the way, before I forget, this lens, the close-up focusing is like inches. That's the beauty of Canon glass and Canon cameras. They really know what they're doing. Okay, so it doesn't matter if you celebrate nothing, you celebrate Christmas, you celebrate Festivus, Hanukkah, it don't matter. Celebrate nothing. This is not about that. This is about finding locations that you can practice your photography art of bokeh. All right, getting the beautiful blurred foreground and background. All right, all right, guys. Um, remember, like I said, through this whole video, I have put in samples of the photographs. But what I like to do at the end is put all of them together. There's only about 12 pictures, okay? Enjoy the photographs get ideas. That's what this class is all about. That's what my channel is all about, is to stir up your imagination. So you get your camera, you blow off the dust, you charge the battery and you go take pictures. Now, remember what I just said, you don't even have to leave the house. You could buy a string of lights. Remember, you, this is not a religious holiday thing. This is about photography. You could buy a string of lights on Amazon or eBay or down at the corner store. They're like $4 for a string of lights. And you could put them in the background and you could photograph something. You could photograph your hand with 
the lights, you know, a couple of feet back. Shoot wide open, and you'll get beautiful bokeh. Oh my goodness. All right, guys, let's look at the photographs together. I hope I was an inspiration to you to just take photographs. You don't have to get in a car and travel by plane to take bokeh photographs. You can take them in your own bedroom. All right, guys. Oh, one thing I should add about this technique is everything else should be dark. That's why I say go out at night and take these photographs, all right? You don't want to have too much light in the background. This way it'll ruin the bokeh bubble pop. <laughs> All right, guys, please follow my finger. Press the red square right there. That'll make you subscribe. Thumbs up, please. Let's look at the bouquet photographs I took last night in Queens, New York. Carmine from New York saying, let's go.